What's up guys, it's Track, and today we are reviewing the X-Shot Chaos. Now this is a little confusing because there's a Nerf Chaos, the Nerf Chaos being like the better than Zeus but worse than Nemesis. Primary class Rival Blaster, the X-Shot Chaos is a pistol class and it's very similar to the Nerf Kronos or the Dart Zone Sentry X2. And uh, I think that this is definitely like an interesting, it's, it's been fun to watch these Titans clash. So uh, X-Shot makes incredibly inexpensive blasters and has a serious foothold in the Asianic markets. You watch Nerf relief Alpha Strike so that they can compete with them in their primary segment. And then the same year, we see X-Shot release the Chaos, clearly taking it to Nerf in one of their best-selling blasters being the rival Kronos. And I'm just excited as a fan of this space, of this hobby, of this kind of product area like this is really really great for us because when titans clash uh us regular folk get really cool products and the best will rise to the top so hopefully uh since this is a very similar price point you can see i picked this one up in reno for 14 dollars that i want to say like a family dollar uh this is a very similar price to the nerf chronos which is a really good well-built pistol this has one more shot of capacity with six and uses a very innovative style uh, internal magazine uh, in its grip not its grip grip its foregrip as opposed to the uh, the others so uh, let's go ahead and pop this out we took a look at a very janky prototype This review is also a durability test. <laughs> also, this blaster is called the Meteor. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing today, boys. Uh, so the Meteor uh, is part of the X-Shot Chaos line. The Chaos is, uh, I guess, X-Shot's way of saying rival, given that this uses a very similar dimpled rival class ammo. Uh, the only difference that I can tell is that this has hexagons instead of actual golf ball dippling. And... Hopefully we'll fly just as well, be just as cool. So let's go ahead and bust it out. I do want to applaud X-Shot. X-Shot's always been really good at giving you more ammo than you need. It's one of the, uh, the primary things that I've always enjoyed about their brand. And even with something uh, premium or expensive like Rival Ammo, uh, they've included 12 shots uh, in the Meteor, which is enough to fill it twice. Uh, when Hasbro does that, they call it a promotion. So uh, we haven't had a double your darts blaster in a really long time. So uh, the fact that X-Shot's just doubling your darts intrinsically is really, really cool. So all joking aside, durability test passed. This is in fine shape. It didn't care at all about being dropped on the, uh, the hardwood of my study. So priming back like this and then forward like this, there is a safety. Your thumb is safe. If you're right-handed like me, that will not fire. And then if you push in with your index finger, which is where it should be and prime down, uh, you are good to fire. It sounds kind of chunky in here, but the plastic quality overall is uh, better than we usually get from X-Shot, which is good. It's necessary for something like this. It's claiming, of course, that it has 100 FPS, uh, and then I almost missed this, but it looks like somewhere deep down in here, if you want, oh man, that's actually kind of cool. There's a whole litany of these uh, vinyl-esque transparent stickers that you can put all over the blaster to kind of trick it out. So one side has paint and a couple of stickers on it, the other side is pretty naked, but if you're into that sort of thing, you can put a bunch of stickers on it. And if you're not, you can strip it down and paint it very easily. It's my understanding that these are normally gonna be, I think, black and yellow, or blue and yellow, or some combination like that. There's a darker version of these, which is what we reviewed at Toy Fair. This is the special edition for Family Dollar, which is white and blue. I think that they're kind of Arctic-esque, and I like that a lot. It looks like there's some sort of funky door here. We'll get into there in a second, but all you have to do to load this is pull this lever down, and then you push through the follower, which is really, really cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, it looks like it might even hold one more, but we're not gonna force it. Uh, and then to release down here, you have a button on just one side. So this button here releases that follower and lets it move back forward. I think if you wanted to get really cute with it, there's a way that you could like push down and up like that uh, once you obviously have the capacity to do so. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and prime it back forward and fire. Oh, dang. All right, so in addition to its sci-fi aesthetics, it is very spinnable, but uh, that's, that's pretty exciting. Well, that's interesting. I think that we just double fed. That's not necessarily ideal. So there's one, don't look down the barrel of these, but we're uh, testing 
And you'll note that when I do, I put my finger over the muzzle so that I can't actually shoot myself in the face. So that was just one that time. We'll call the double feed a quirk, but that means that this should not fire. Yeah, it was in fact empty. So let's go ahead and load this guy up one more time. This comes down, this comes through. So there's no need to do a door delete on this guy because, oh, it's faster if you just kind of throw them all in there uh, because there's no door to delete. Um, let's go ahead and release the follower. And then I want to know, so I'm going to take my uh, provoke by cricket and check in here. So this window gives you full access to uh, the plunger area. So this is the plunger and pusher. When you prime it back, you can see how it chambers a ball there. And then when you push it forward, the same. So you could remove this if you wanted to, but I have no idea why you would need to. That's just an easy way to access jams and a really cool kind of way to integrate it into the shell. It's, uh, it's flush with it. It's barely, barely noticeable. So you also have a real-time ammo indicator, which is something that I don't think either the Sentry or the, uh, the Kronos with their internal magazines have. You know where your ammo is at all times because you can watch this follower work its way up through, and then you've got the side viewing panels like that. So we'll fire it a couple more times. And then I think we have to take it outside and put those uh, FPS tests to the, well, to the test. This is pretty good so far. All right guys, so we're out here with the Meteor and I'm finding that when it's not primed and locked, it's actually a little trickier to spin just because of how clunky that is. Overall, grip is incredibly ergonomic. You can't use this as a foregrip like I thought you'd be able to for two reasons. One, it impacts the follower. Uh, and then two, this plastic on the side and unfortunately in true Zuru fashion, it's quite thin. And so if you apply any sort of pressure or grip to that, I imagine that you're not only uh, deforming it, but the, the rounds wouldn't move through anyway. Now we're gonna put three of the genuine X-Shot ammo over the chronograph here. 93, 95, and 90. So we're getting a lot of bounce and uh, that's a little unfortunate. Normally Zuru is far more honest with their range claims and I can forgive it. They're definitely close to that century mark, but if you're going to put 100 FPS on the box, I would like to see 100 FPS over my chronograph, particularly brand new blaster using your ammunition. So for a practical firing demo, let's see how a few of these fire down range. Just put a couple flat shots down. Interesting. So, uh, I think that this is a sweet blaster. I want to test it with rival ammo, like actual Hasbro grade rival ammo. That one was a headshot round, and then we have, uh, all right, so it's headshot, rival, headshot, rival, rival. Whoop. Accidentally made a do re -mi mag. And then we'll push this button to rechamber it, and we'll see how those do over the chronograph. Headshot gives us 90, genuine rival, 79, 88 from our headshot ammo. Ooh, 99 with a genuine uh, rival round. Come on, show me three digits. 94, oh well. Uh, all right, I can definitely, I can see how you, how you got a marketed shot to, to fire 100 FPS. So overall, is this blaster sweet? Yes, the grip is very comfortable. I like that it doesn't have scales and has uh, finger knurling in there. I think that that's quite nice. Uh, the safety is intuitive. The D-prime lock over here is nice. This funky gate here is very cool. And I really like this new innovative style of like almost in-grip magazine release, I think it's pretty sweet. So overall, these are great. They come in two color schemes and they're shipping now. Uh, the real question is, what would uh, you choose? Would you choose the uh, Meteor by X-Shot? Are you into the Sentry X2 from Dart Zone? Or are you tried and true OG uh, Kronos from Hasbro's rival line? And I think that that'll be a video all on its own coming up very, very soon on the channel. So if you want to catch that, make sure you like this video, throw me a comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. As always, much love, Fall drag out.